are going to make some simple future house base pattern with Ableton only. We are going to use operator and basically a kick sample and that's what we are going to do. So I'm starting over here with a MIDI track. So right click insert MIDI track. That's how you do that. And then you can drag a kick sample like I'm taking that one out of our deep premium package. That one I'm dragging it onto a channel. That's when it's loaded into a simpler. And then you can right click or you can command shift M or control shift M on Windows and create a new MIDI, MIDI clip over here. And the kick always uses C3. You paint in this note and we paint it in at 1 1.2, 1 1.1.3, 1 1.1.4. 1 1 and we get our kick because we are going to stop this after the length of one and then we are going to loop this MIDI clip and we are going to use the name kick for that clip. So I'm muting this one and we are going to use the one I just created. So that's what we are doing. The next thing we have um, to do load an instance of the operator onto a MIDI channel as well. So how do you get the operator? You get it here and then just load it onto a channel. Let me quickly set up the notes. It's also a MIDI channel and we first we don't want to worry about those effects so I'm deactivating them quickly, the ones I've been using for that for that sound over here. We are using this MIDI pattern over here. So let's have a look at the pattern. It's fairly simple. You can uh, you can see the notes over here: D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. And in the second leg, we um we have this note up to um, C sharp. About um, the, the settings of the operator that is playing the initial notes over here, it's basically a square 64 um, with a short decay time. And the important thing over here is the filter is going down to a very low frequency. You can mess around with that a little bit. You need to put up the envelope of the filter quite much to have like it apply on top and that's basically how you get this sound. We also put a compressor onto the channel and map it to our side chaining channel. That's basically a kick channel like this thing over here or this thing over here copied and it's not being played but it's going to be renamed side chain. So that's what you have over there and we are going to activate the compressor, select the audio over here if you like put this on you get this sidechain and you map the sidechain and you make sure the transients of the bass and the transients of the kick don't interfere. Also we have an equalizer over here EQ8 you get that one from the audio effects as well just as the compressor I'm putting a little bit of low cut over here because I want to do something with low bass later. I'm also using a little bit of saturation over here. It's called a bit warmer. That one. And I'm also using an auto filter. That one over here. And that one is cutting out a little bit of the higher frequencies. So it's on 4.16. And now in Future House, the trick is to layer those kinds of sounds. So we could easily now copy this one, duplicate it, that's what I just did, duplicate it, and uh, play this one. But we change a little bit the style of that one. We take higher frequencies, so we are cutting out a little more of the low end, and we are putting a chorus, that one, over here. And 
it's the it's the init init patch of the chorus. So if we apply a lot of chorus, you notice how the signal is going to the side of the panorama. could copy this one again, duplicate it again, and do one more thing with that next channel. We could um, use a picture, MIDI effects picture, drag it on before the instrument, and tell it to go semitones, seven semitones up. So it's applying seven plus semi, seven semitones on all those notes. You could go up like seven yourself one two three four five six seven like place those notes over here or just tell the midi pitcher to do it uh, automatically on that sample so on that sound so we um play everything together now we have three bass sounds now And one more thing, as um, I still have space in the low end, you can add some kind of sub bass if you like to. Um, and um, how you do that, you can uh, select another operator, another instance of operator, that one over here. Go, go to operator, select operator, that's the init patch. You select the sine wave over here. And, um, and then you copy the notes from above to this newly created um, sign channel. So that one. And we can tell that channel now to um, kind of cut the higher frequencies and just focus on the low end. But we would still, we would still cut out a little bit of the um, low end as well. So maybe something like 35, 36. So this is how you can achieve this kind of future house sound and you can also go ahead later and put more reverb on top maybe of one of your layers for example on the on the chorus on top still some reverb over here. a little bit on what you want to do. So this is how you can use simply Ableton only and create um, a simple future house pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check our channel for more tutorials on future house also when we are using Massive in uh, some other ones and subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye!